everybody my name is tommy and this is the gallery of backyard barbecue and this is a, a special collab with a, a good buddy of mine tom pointer who runs a, a youtube channel barbecue life uk i will leave a link up above and a link down below this is a, a chicken collab and I've got a good one here for you today. And this is also a viewer request. Viewer request, Mr. Dan, the man, Nye. Is it Nye? It's N-A. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. But this uh, chicken and dumpling recipe goes out to him. He asked for it. I said, uh, let's do it. And, uh, well, here we go. Alrighty, and the uh, first uh, step is to get some uh, chicken, right? I'm using uh, boned breast chicken, two of them, and one uh, boneless uh, chicken, right? For uh, I like the uh, boned breast chicken for some good flavor, right? When you get that uh, stock, that soup uh, rolling, right? You get that good uh, flavor. And uh, later in the recipe, we'll debone it, of course. I'll cook this about 15 minutes or so. Probably about 80, 85% done. And then I'll uh, remove it and uh, shred it up, right? And put it in the uh, soup, right? The first thing we want to do is get this chicken, like I said, about 80% done, of course. The uh, boned chicken, you get some good added flavor, I feel, right? So uh, that's why I'm going to roll that way, right? So I'll get that uh, on a uh, plate, get that to a rest, of course. And to the uh, pot, I'm going to go with uh, four tablespoons of butter. Make that two tablespoons of butter, two carrots diced small, two stalks of celery, plus uh, any leaves that may be there, and one onion diced, and a, a couple of springs of thyme, right? A couple of springs of thyme, go. And uh, three, four garlic cloves chopped up, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna cook these down for about maybe, well, maybe five minutes or so. Right, we'll get that juice from that uh, chicken that I took out. We'll get that in there, right? No want, no waste. So we'll cook these down for about uh, five, 10 minutes. And then we will hit it with a quarter cup of the flour, right? Quarter cup of flour, and we'll cook this for about a minute or two. That's it, right? We're kind of setting it up for a, uh, well, almost like a roux to thicken the uh, soup, right? And to that, we're going to add uh, four cups of a chicken uh, broth or chicken stock, right? And what that's going to do also is get all that goodness on the uh, bottom of the pan, right? We're going to deglaze the uh, pan and get all that flavor in there, of course. And uh, to that, we're going to go a, a half a cup of milk. And also you can uh, season uh, salt and pepper it if you uh, please. I uh, season it up a little bit later in the recipe, but you can do it now too, of course. And now let's get our uh, chicken back in to finish the uh, rest of the 20% uh, of the uh, cooking, of course. And what we want to do is bring it up to a nice rolling, a simmer, a nice a boil, right? Maybe a low boil, of course. And now what we're going to do is uh, make the uh, dumplings. And we got a cup of flour, a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of baking powder, and a, a little fresh thyme leaves in there, right? To that, we're going to uh, hit it with a uh, two tablespoons of melted butter. and one cup of milk, right? And what you want to do is you want to mix this. Uh, you don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose. You do not want to overwork it. Add a little flour here and there and just get it to where you can work with it, right? Again, not too tight and not too loose, but just where you can work with it, right? Just where you can transfer it into this soup with uh, two spoons. And that's looking about pretty good right there. That's no big deal. That's easy peasy. 
That's good. Alrighty, and from there, I'm gonna get some uh, white pepper in the soup. I like the uh, flavor of white pepper in this uh, type of soup. Anytime I'm using a milk-based soup, you can certainly use a fresh cracked black pepper also. I'm gonna go with a, a little onion powder and a little garlic powder, right? We'll uh, stir this up and we'll uh, top it off and uh, let it boil out a little bit some more. And here we'll uh, debone our chicken, right? Debone our chicken and get that back in the soup. And now to uh, make these uh, dumplings, you get a uh, two spoons or a fork and a spoon and just kind of work it on the spoon and just kind of drop them in, right? Nothing more than that. There are two types of dumplings. There are flat ones and uh, bally ones, right? I like the, uh, well, I like the bally ones better, right? So that's the ones I'm going to do. If you prefer the flat ones, you can roll them out and uh, cut them and drop them in flat, right? And just kind of work it back and forth on a spoon, no big deal, no big deal. Neatness does not count, just uh, kind of roll them around and drop them in and they will be uh, mighty fine and good to go, I guarantee it. And these will cook about maybe about uh, between 10 and 15 minutes or so and you'll notice that they'll all float to the top and that's when they're pretty much done you want these suckers nice and airy right that's why you don't want to overwork your uh you don't want to overwork the dough you don't want the dough too tight and just uh, cover and let the uh, simmer uh, do its trick The uh, chicken back in, right? We deboned it. We're gonna get that back in. It should take about another 10 minutes or so, and we should be all ready to rock and roll. shall uh, get it all uh, plated up right get it ready for a taste test and I can tell you that the uh, longer this soup sits so uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow the uh, flavor will be amplified right soup always gets better uh, the day after right so I'm looking forward to this uh, we got a little snow happening in Jersey so I'm looking to rock and roll this stuff for the next that's two the, days that's and, that. uh, that's, that's that. that and that if you've never had a chicken and dumpling soup, this is the uh, perfect opportunity to make it. Those are uh, doughy little dumplings with the uh, chicken flavor of the soup. I mean, this is a, uh, well, look, this is a winning com uh, combination. I want to uh, thank my man, Dan the Man, right, for uh, suggesting me make this. And uh, I'm glad I did because I haven't made it in a while, right? So I got my uh, soup dressed up with some more uh, pepper. Right? I like a spicy peppery soup. So uh, we got a nice chunks of chicken and nice uh, balls of uh, dumplings, right? Of course. Of course. Oh man, I like that pepper. I like that pepper. This is a, a hearty a soup, a definitely one that warms of the heart, and this is a good stuff. Milk-based soup, which I prefer, right? Clam chowders, I like the uh, white clam chowder over the uh, red clam chowder, right? So I like milk-based soup. So this, uh, well, look, this recipe is a winner for me. And uh, if you try it, I think it'd be a nice winner for you also. Oh, yeah. 
All right, look, as we uh, as we bow out of this, I'd like to thank my man Tom Pointer, right, for this uh, collab. Right. I want you to go check out his channel. I'll leave a link down below and a link in the card up above, right? He's a good dude, and that's a BBQ UK, right? You check him out. Thanks for uh, Dan, the Dan man, for the uh, suggesting man. this soup. I appreciate the support. It means a lot to the uh, channel. Everyone else, don't forget to leave a, a thumbs up or a, a nice comment down below. Right? YouTube likes that. I like that. And until next time, we shall see, see you soon. soon.